Hey guys, it's Hans here. Um, I decided I'm finally going to make a video tutorial specifically for you guys um, who are getting ready to go to BRC, uh, who are trying to learn your knots. Uh, a couple of you have actually asked me would I film a tutorial on these knots and I haven't because there are literally dozens if not hundreds of other video tutorials on YouTube covering every single one of these knots. And so, you know, my thing was you can just look it up yourself. Um, but the more I searched, the more I realized, yeah, there are tons of videos showing these knots and those guys do a fantastic job. Um, but I, I wasn't able to find any videos that show our knots, the clove hitch, bowline square knot, figure eight, um, directional figure eight, double fisherman's, four finger prusik, round turn with, and two half hitches, sheet bend, double sheet bend, overhand knot, water tape knot, Swiss seat. Um, all these knot, knots that we do, the way we do them, so like the around the body bowling followed by a figure eight, okay? I haven't found any videos that like demonstrate that specifically. Um, and also some of the shortcuts or tricks of the trade that we use that might be very helpful for you since we are tested on these knots, since you're gonna be tested on these knots um, at BRC. Um, you wanna know, hey, are there shortcuts? Now when I say shortcuts, I don't want you to get in mind that it's okay to just like learn a shortcut. Shorts, shortcuts are only good if you know you're not inside and out. So you still need to know it left handed and right handed. You still need to be able to do it blindfolded, behind your back, underwater, okay? So you still need to know these knots really well. But there are tricks of the trade. So you can do the you know figure eight in like three seconds, okay? Um, and I'll show you how to do that instead of instead of having to think about it necessarily. You don't want to get bogged down in the procedure. If you can develop the muscle memory and learn these tricks of the trade, I still want you to know these knots uh, really well, forward and backwards, but hopefully this will facilitate that. Hopefully by practicing these shortcuts, you'll actually get to know your knots better, okay? Um, I'll also take you outside. I spent like $10 and 15 minutes um, to make myself a little rope corral just so that I'd have a good place to show you and I think that it would be a fantastic idea for each one of you to make for yourself so you can practice your knots. You, you know, it's hard to tie and around the object bowling when you don't have an object to tie around. Uh, it's hard to tie a four finger prusik when you don't have, you know, a stationary somewhat solid, um, you know, tree branch or something right there in a controlled environment that you can practice doing the same knot over and over again. So we want to create a, a controlled environment, something stationary, something cylindrical that you can tie your knots around and practice that just like it's going to be at the schoolhouse. So I'll take you out there and we can see what I did and you, you might think it's a good idea and do it uh, in your own backyard. Okay. So let's go out there and take a look at this and then uh, next video we'll work, we'll, we're, we'll start straight in. Um, I'm going to start with a clove hitch. It's one of the easiest knots to learn and I'll walk you through it bit by bit. These are going to be short videos, but hopefully it'll give you, like I said, it'll give you a place um, to come and just learn our knots, the, the knots that we use and the knots that you're going to be tested on at BRC with a time limit. Okay, hopefully this will be helpful for you. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to where I made this little rope corral just so that, I mean, I think it's com common sense, but um, sometimes it's helpful to visualize something. It's super easy. It took me 10 minutes to construct this morning. Uh, it cost me about $10 in supplies. All right. Look, that's all we need. All right. I think, I think it would be great if we could have something like this, if we could make something like this at the unit, uh, like maybe three times longer. All right. But... It, it'll it'll give you a controlled environment, something to tie around, and um, I think it'll be very helpful. I think it would be very helpful for us to have, so we're not using the dip bars all the time. All right, guys. Well, that covers um, the introduction. Uh, I'm going to be starting on these knot tying tutorials probably later today. Um, hope hopefully they'll be helpful to you and uh, simplify. And see you next time.